Here we are in the dressing room with Larry Sincato. Larry, what kind of beer do you drink after the game? When after I'm working a hard game, I drink Bud Light. And that's the beer champion. Do you drink it before the game? No, I drink Molson before him. There he comes out, Miller Light. Bud Light, beer champion. Miller! Tom Buckholtz, Green Hornet extraordinaire. Tom, what do you drink after the game? Miller Lite. I brought it from the Grey Wolves. They no longer have Miller Lite. Only the Green Team. Miller Lite, beer of champions. Stay straight. He calls it his white lightning. Here we are ladies and gentlemen here at the Ice Sports Forum, a special edition here, a friendly exhibition match for both teams as they get ready for the USA Nationals here, coming up in the next week or so, should be exciting to see what can come up here, but here's a little, again a friendly exhibition here, you got from the over 50 tier 3, the uh, Tampa Bay Moonshiners, and then they'll be taking on tier four in the over a, a team from the tier four league, the Brandon Moonshiners. And it should be exciting here, but for now we'll just consider this uh, team to be the Hennessy's, but we'll see how things go. Andy Townsend here alongside me, Cloy, tells you Cloy. I'm really excited about this matchup in particular. Oh, definitely Andy, this gives both clubs an opportunity to see where they're at heading into the tournament. So you either get any final tune-up portions, of course. I mean, obviously here you would expect uh, the uh, Tampa Bay Moonshiner team, the Tier 3 squad, to do a whole lot better than uh, Tier 4. But then again, anything can happen here. I mean, if you're going to compare it in terms of the gameplay. But, I mean, you, again, all this game really is, is just a tune-up for both squads to do really well, you know. Either way, this is over 50 hockey squads going at it. And we're going to see exactly what needs to be played and how it needs to be played out here. You know, got some lots of familiar figures. But... Again, I'm really excited about this. I can't wait to see what both teams have up their sleeves. Should be a lot of exciting action to happen. And of course, one bright side for the uh, for the uh, Moonshiner team over here. You know, you got Angelo Pontello, Lou Demeza, Jim Thomas, Scott McCants. I mean, lots of players here. This is almost like your um, some form of an over 50 All-Star team with the way these guys are playing. So I, I definitely expect them to come at it together and this is where we see a lot of chemistry come at it oh yeah no doubt about that Andy I mean the way they play is just absolutely amazing and of course you know as some of the players continue to improve some of the improving players you know again Tom Finley Mike Ricci you know those men and of course Matt Sharina and uh, Mike Brewster on the squad should definitely give uh, this Hennessy team an edge here you know gotta love the way they've been playing so far and so should be an exciting matchup for them and of course for the tier 4 Moon, Brandon Moonshiner team you know you got Tom Buckles pretty much throwing in um, a couple of guys together you know especially from over 50 hockey some uh, notable names in there you got Jeff Quicko, Phil Field you know real strong defenders in a sense and then of course you also have um, Watching, I'm, I'm, my name is getting Chris. Uh, no, but I mean, like, you see Steve Gorman out there, big opportunity, and then, of course, George Hurley. You know, he's not in over 50 hockey, but at the same time, Hurley is uh, in the over 35 standings, and, of course, you know, he does well, and he's one heck of a player. And then, of course, you know, for Tom Buckles, key acquisition here today that's going to have to step it up is uh, Steve Paganella. And Paganella, of course, if he can hold his own, he could perhaps do some damage here today. And, of course, Paganella, definitely a strong keeper, uh, definitely a strong player at hand, you know, definitely a firepower to see. And then of course Chris Newbecker, also um, not in over 50 hockey, obviously he's not 50 yet, but at the same time, you know, he is very strong as well. Yeah, of course Newbecker, you know, if he wants to, he has the opportunity of being a play difference playmaker as long as, you know, he doesn't keep tired out. That's one of the weaknesses though, is the, the stamina factor. From what I've heard, you know, Newbecker, you know, if he gets really tired, you know, it's, good, it's really difficult for, for him to get back to the puck, which is an advantage that Hennessy's could take forward to. But, you know, we'll see, see how he does today. Newbecker, definitely a big force to have. And of course, another player to look forward to is uh, Ryan Danger. Ryan Danger is a over 35 player in the uh, C League. Uh, any any uh, research on him, Claude? Yeah, not a lot from Danger, but last time I checked, you know, he's definitely, um, um, he's probably in the middle, you know, in the over 35 league, you know, he can hold his own, 
he can uh, definitely score goals for this team. Uh, very player-matic, you know, from what I've seen from him and from what I've heard, you know. Danger is the kind of player that can definitely get some chemistry on a team going real early here if they have the opportunity to. But nevertheless, you know, we'll see how things play here again. Last minute tune-up for both of these teams. A nice way to do it is a friendly exhibition match, you know, to get yourself prepared for a tournament where teams from all over the country are going to be looking to try to compete for USA National Championship. And with that, we will have the pre-game report conclude here. And this, of course, is brought to you by Powerplay Grill, best wings in Tampa. That's where the players fellowship and that's where they head to after the game for wings, beer and fun. Powerplay Grill, of course, best wings in Tampa. We'll take a quick break here. Of course, again, you have the Tampa Bay Moonshiners versus the Brandon Moonshiners here on the Pontello Broadcasting Network. And we should have an exciting matchup again coming to you. We'll have face off to you shortly. We'll be right back. And welcome back here, folks. We're just about ready to begin this friendly matchup. Again, Tampa Bay versus Brandon here today. Really exciting to see what's going to happen here. And of course, it looks like they're going to start off with uh, Lou Demeza at center. You know, wise choice. You know, Demeza, of course, really strong at the center position. Although he's kind of been lacking recently, I don't think he's been playing to his full potential. But of course, that's going to change, especially when you have a tournament coming up here. Yeah, they're going to be doing everything they can to make sure that everything's all tuned up, like we said before. So, of course, Demeza having some final words on the bench. He's going to head to the face-off, and it looks like he'll take it against George Hurley. And there they go. This one to Pontello. Looking to set up to Ricci. This one gets knocked away. This one to Demeza. He slips and falls as this one comes back over to Morello. Black horse. Intercepted. Here comes Pontello. Sets up to, sets up to Thomas. Back to Pontello. Looking back over to the Meza, intercepted. And this is the Pullman. Trying to work off a Tommy's Hurley coming in quick, and this one's to the Meza. Like the way that these uh, Moonshiners are stunning us so far, it's referring to the Tampa Bay Moonshiners. You know, they're definitely moving the puck, they're trying to see what goes on in terms of the passing chemistry. They want to tune that up for sure, you know. Not starting anything too early, but we'll see what happens. And of course, George Hurley there trying to get the puck knocked away. Didn't quite succeed there. This one now to Pullman. This one comes back over to Danger. Gets around Ricci and he has an opportunity. And he gets knocked away by Dominici. Great knockout there. Big opportunity for them and they just got the job done. Pullman. This one now intercepted. Here comes Dominici. Over the blue line. Has a real chance. And he gets knocked away by Gorman. Yeah, big opportunity there. Just denied. Dominici could have had a few more options to work with. Finley with the short. This one back over to Newbecker. Covered well by McCants. Great tackle there. Back over to Finley. This is to Spottacino. Knocked around by Paganella. Spottacino's pass just a little off from Dominici. We'll get the pass out. Intercepted by Newbecker. Trying to get to around McCants. Just couldn't get the job done. Now it's back over to Paganella. Trying to get around to Spottacino. This one out to Spottacino after Paganella tried to move the puck quickly. And here comes Newbecker gets in the way. Great opportunity there by Newbecker. Unfortunately, just couldn't get the right shot off. Big opportunity for the Brandon Moonshiners. Firing the shot. This one gets poked out by Spottacino. Brandon with a big opportunity here. This one to Newbecker trying to set up. The shot taken and it's knocked away by the keeper. A yeah, big opportunity there. Looks like the Tampa Bay defense is starting to falter a little bit. It's going to have to do a little bit better than that to try to keep things moving. And here comes Leibler. Makes a move around Newbecker. Big opportunity against Rosengard. Knocks it away. Mark Rosengard. That's the reason why you have to love him as a keeper. He definitely gets himself set up. And doesn't matter who's in the way. It's a big opportunity for them. And a big shot there by Jim Tomis. No correction. That was Larry Leibler. And that is going to put the first goal up for the Tampa Bay Moonshiners. They lead 1-0 over Brandon. And of course, eventually it was going to happen. You know, the way they were working together, it was inevitable in terms of the way things were going to happen. But good job by the Moonshiners to get a goal on the board. This one now to Phil Field. Walking around Shireen on this one back to Pontello. Walking against Field and here comes Pontello the other way. From his own end, finds Becker. 
Boys, a nice over the middle shot to Liebler. Only the keeper to beat. Now back over to Brewster. Far in the shot. Just misses on the left. What a way to botch the opportunity. I mean, couldn't have done it any better. Liebler looking for the setup here. Trying to finish all the way back over the pot. Oh, with the wrist shot and this one goes in. Oh, Rosengard was beat big time. And of course, Pontello will make sure the whole crowd knows it too. Yeah, real good shot by Pontello. Nice and low. You know, he had Rosengard beat. I don't think Mark Rosengard paid too much attention in terms of where the puck was going there. But a good opportunity. And the Moonshiners now have a 2-0 lead over Brandon. Sharina, this is back to Pontello. Nice pass there over to Liebler and he's got Becker to work with. It's a three-hour warm. Becker looking to set back up and this one's going to be passed back the other direction. This is to Sharina. Dominici. Right now the Brandon Moonshine is still struggling to try to control the puck. Not getting a lot of touch on it. And now finally Buckholz and Gorman will try to get to it together. Now taken away by Thomas working off of Quicko. Thomas, looking around to Dominici, back to Thomas, and Buckholz gets a piece of it, and here come the Moonshiners, Buckholz with Pauming, gets it back around to Kenny Pauming, but it would be offside, supposedly, but it doesn't matter at this point since you don't have any referees, now that's the beauty of a friendly exhibition game, you don't have to worry about the referees trying to put their view, view and their spin on things, you know, these are just... Players over 50 just looking to have a good old time and trying to play some exhibition hockey. Pomin with a short opportunity and this one is in and Brandon finally has a goal on the board. 2-1. And Kenny Pomin scores first for the Brandon Moonshiners. Yeah, of course, Pomin, uh, really an underestimated player, if you will. Pomin not, is not perhaps, you know, the best player, but at the same time, you know, he is not the worst player and the, and the way he plays, there's a lot of potential for him. Of course, uh, for Pullman, you know, completing his rookie season with the uh, Yellow Jacket team that recently won over 50 Cup 11, you know, Pullman contributed it to some degree, and uh, you know, that's big. And here comes Pullman again, and he's got Hurley. Pullman, he's gonna take the shot himself, and Chewie knocks it away. This one now back over to the Meza. Trying to get it around, Gorman could not. Gorman regroups. This one now to Hurley. Trying to make a move around and this one's gonna get around to Pullman. Strip loose and Danger's gonna put this one in the in the uh, Tampa Bay and this one now over to Finley. Taken around now by Hurley. Big opportunity and it gets knocked away. Now Hurley again on the rebound. Oh, short opportunity there. Could have been a little bit better. And this shot's gonna go all the way back. Paganella will pass it the other way to Quick Curl. He'll keep this drive alive. And this one getting knocked away by Pontello. This one now over to Curtin. Curtin points Philly. Now looking for Curtin the other way. Trying to skate to it first around Newbecker. Spins around and he gets to it. Unbelievable, Clive. It just shows how much power these Moonshiners have and a lot of potential, if you will, too. Danger trying to get this one to Paganella. He does, and he'll get around Sharina. To Pontello. Back to Curtin. Trying to control it with the skate just a little out of his reach, and now it's Brandon's possession. Oh, an opportunity there, but of course, that's where the tune-ups tune and tune-ins come in. You know, get the kinks out now versus is uh, next Thursday's uh, tournament opener when this Tampa Bay Moonshine the team takes on the Illinois Ice Holes. And of course we will have the USA uh, Tier 3 tournament team aim to catch up on and we'll have all their games broadcasted to you live here of course on PBN. Angelo Pontello will be the one leading up with that one but that should be really exciting to see how uh, that tournament goes. You know, definitely with tournaments like this, this is where all the players play their hardest and you want to do everything they can to win. And of course, that's where, um, you know, whether it's for fun or if you want to look for some competitive edge, you know, that's where it's about. And of course, as the home team, you're doing everything you can to make sure you uh, bring home the national championship. Tic-tac-toe 
opportunity there denied. Jim Becker had a nice pass to Dominici, just couldn't get the right edge off. Yeah, of course, that's going to be another key thing is you have to you have to perfect the tic-tac-toe, especially when you're playing high competition like the Shamrocks, the Ice Halls. You know, two teams that are have been known to be really strong in the tournament every year, especially in the Tier 3 level. Spotticino in the deep slot. Takes the shot and it's Gorman who knocks it away. Moonshine is to regroup. This one's gonna come back around. This one now off to Liebler. Liebler working around the other way. In the deep slot. Looking for the setup. This one comes back to Spotticino. Fires the shot. And Rosengar looking to make the stop and it goes through and... Did he make the save, Clive? It looked like he did. A great save there by the keeper. Moonshine has had an opportunity to take a 3-1 lead. And they just got denied. This is to the Meza. Regroups. Passes it back to Pontello. This one now over to Thomas. And Thomas finds an open lightning Lou. And there he goes again. The Meza with an opportunity. Working on the left side now, trying to get around Murillo. The Meza. Sets back over to Sharina. Off his stick. Makes a move around Buckholz. Sharina trying to keep the play alive. This one back over to Ricci. And now it's off to Hurley. Knocked away by Pontello. Fires the shot. And this one now in the Brandon end. This one over to Thomas. Trying to look for someone to set up to, and he finds Sharina on point. Back to Pontello. Slap shots, and it's off to the right again. And of course, what have we been talking about earlier about Angelo Pontello? He has to make those slap shots happen, and he has to be a little bit more accurate. Pontello in the deep slot. Sets up to Thomas. Fires the shot. Knocked away by Rosengard, and officially knocked out by Gorman. Sets up to Rishi. Fires the shot. Kicked away by Rosengard. Rebound shot, and this one goes in. Moonshiners with a 3-1 lead. And they continue to make it happen here today. Great opportunity and teamwork, and that's how they get the job done. And of course, for the Brandon Moonshiners, you know, again, very surprised. They really haven't had an opportunity to touch the puck a lot because they're not even getting... They're not even trying... It's not necessarily they're not trying, it's just against a tier three team right now that has just been more organized and have played together in tournaments. You know, there's already that chemistry together and there they go again. This is to McCants. Setting up the curtain, wide open short, but he's gonna pass it back instead. This one comes around to Buckholz. Taken away by Dominici. Fantasy players, you know, playing with integrity, that's the key thing there. Yeah. yeah, especially when you don't have any referees that can dignify or dictate, you know, what goes on in terms of uh, making sure each player is on side. It's again an integrity. Uh, it's an integrity factor, you know. Everybody has to practice getting on sides, and it's something they have to do themselves. McCants trying to work around the other way, and this one's going to be taken out. Opportunity shot goes all the way back to Chewy, and now it's the spot of Chino. And the Brandon Moonshiners have an opportunity here if they can control the puck and start getting their passing game going. New Becker. It's around Finley. And now around Dominici, but lost control of the puck. And here comes Curtin. Makes a move around Paganella. And here come Tampa Bay in the Brandon zone. Yeah, that's going to be a key thing for these Brandon Moonshiners. They need to start making sure that their passes are on target. Otherwise, it's not going to be pretty. Pontello, this one back to Spotticino. Finds a wide open McCants, only the keeper to beat. Fires the shot, knocked away by Rosengold. Now back over the spot, achievement for the rebound, taken away by Newbecker. Knocked away by Finley, this is a danger, now back to Paganella. Paganella looking for the shot, takes it, knocked away, rebound shot, almost went in the net. Just left on the, on the left post there, Clive, and that could have been a 3-2. Uh, Their deficit could have been decreased to 3-2. Liebler looking to take the shot, just couldn't get the shot off, and this one's now to Paganella. Now off to Quicko. 
stopped by Pontello. We'll take this one back the other way. Gets it through Paganella. And now Gorman trying to knock it back around. Controlled by Sharina. Here comes Becker. Passes it back over to Liebler. Fires the shot. Kicked away by Rosengard. Rebound opportunity for the Moonshiner. Sets up to Becker. Fires the shot. Deflected off for Rosengard. Third opportunity there. Liebler trying to finish and it gets knocked away. Great defensive effort there. And of course, great goaltending there by Rosengard. He just prevented this game from becoming 4-2. Liebler sets up, kicked away by Rosengard. And Rosengard has been playing on fire tonight. Well, that's just another characteristic of Rosengard, and that's why, uh, you know, teams really want to back in over 50 hockey because of his uh, stellar performance, you know, and of course, uh, being drafted with the over 50 hockey season, the uh, spring summer 2015 season will start on um, Thursday, or not Thursday, but uh, this upcoming Sunday. You know, it's an opportunity for uh, Rosengard to get back in action and he'll be playing with the Green Hornets. This one now sets up to Ricci, trying to finish. This one just completely to the right. Intercepted by Thomas. We'll wait for everyone to get on sides and he has an opportunity. And he's got Ricci. Thomas will fire the shot himself, deflected off of Rosengard. Rebound shot, looking for Ricci and this one gets knocked away. Again, big opportunity for... Uh, the Moon Shiners, they're just not capitalizing tonight. Tommy, to Tom and Ichi, and this one gets taken away again. That's what it's going to kill him. It's all about the opportunities. And right now, this Tampa Bay Moon Shiner team should be up more like 9-2 to two with all the opportunities they're taking. But they're just, again, that's where it's key. They're not capitalizing. This is a Tier 4 team, mind you. They need to start capitalizing because when they play teams of their own caliber, you know, this is the kind of thing where the missed opportunities is going to come back to haunt them. This is to Thomas. Makes a nice move through defenders. Into the Brandon zone. Big opportunity. Buckles with a little bit of hooking there, but of course, you know, they'll be looking to regroup. Just past Gorman. Sets up to Finley, just off his stick, big opportunity. The Meza, now back to Dominici. Looking for Finley the other way. Looks to set up, knocked around. Dominici now looking off the spot of Chino. This one off the boards, finds Pullman. Looking for Hurley, intercepted by McCants. This would have been offsides. Now back to Gorman. Gorman will put this one in the Tampa Bay end. This is Pontello. Gets the pass to McCants. Looking for Sharina. Intercepted by Hurley. Pontello to Finley. Now here comes Frank Curtin. Just a little bit out of his reach there. And it looks, and it appears so. Yeah, just a little bit out of reach there. The pass looked like it was perfect. Curtin tried to bounce it forward to skate up with it, but that time. You know, the passing and the dribbling technique just didn't work for Curtin that time. Bucky's going to go all the way back in the Brandon end. This one's going to get to Murillo. Murillo trying to get off the boards. Intercepted by Curtin. Big opportunity. And Danger breaks it up. This one to Curtin coming back around the other way. This one's going to be taken away by Paganella. And Pullman trying to skate to it. Big opportunity here. Now back over to Danger. And an opportunity there by Newbecker to finish. Just couldn't capitalize. Real unfortunate for the Brandon Moonshiners. Yeah, and that would have been a great opportunity to make it a 4-3 game. Cut into McCants and McCants just couldn't field the shot correctly. And now it's back over to Danger. Dominici gets it back to Spotticino. And gets this one off the boards, finds Curtin. Once again in the Brandon zone, this one's to McCants. Looking to set up over to Mike Brewster. Just couldn't get the right shot off. Brewster gives it right back to Danger and the Brandon Moonshiners. This one now to Paganella. Paganella trying to stick handle, working around Dominici. We'll fire at the keeper. This one knocked away. 
Back over to Dominici. Finds Liebler. Into the Brandon zone once more. Passing it back to Becker. Just couldn't realize the shot there. Becker looking back to Liebler. Looking to shoot back around. This one's to Brewster. Fontello trying to break this one up. This one to Murillo. Off the boards. Taken away by Liebler. Another opportunity here. Liebler's pass to Becker. Looking to set up and it's now taken away the other direction. Brandon with an opportunity. Getting into the Tampa Bay zone. Pontello de is denied the puck and now the shot comes back to Pontello and here come the Moonshiners the other way. Off the balls, this is to Sharina, now to Liebler. Fires the shot, knocked away by Rosengard. And puck is going to get deflected high into the top balcony and they'll have an opportunity here to uh, change things up. And they'll finally find a puck to make sure everybody is uh, in position. I'll skate this one quickly. Dominici finds the pass over to Ricci. This one out to Demeza, but not away by Quicko. Gorman. This one back the other way, and this one's gonna get shot back into the Tampa Bay a zone. This one out to Spotacino. Tomis with the puck. And of course the pass just a little out of reach for Lightning Lou Demeza. Just imagine what Demeza could have done with that with a wide open shot. This might be his chance. Demeza trying to pass this one back to Dominici. And back around to Hurley. Comes back to Thomas. Flipped around Phil Field. Now taken by Ricci and he's got the Meza to work with. Back over to Dominici. Taken away by Hurley. Nice strip there. George Hurley makes an opportunity now happen for the Moonshiners. Forming. Looking to set up to Buckholz. Just could not. And what a poor chance there. Brandon Moonshiners big opportunity to score and of course Foreman had a nice pass. I don't think Buckle was just aware of where the puck was going to be. Pass from Pullman. Pullman back over to Hurley, but knocked away by Finley. This is Gorman. Finds Pullman. And now Sharina. Pass to Thomas. Back to Serena. Open shots, knocked away by Gorman. Now back over to Finley, taken away by Hurley. That time the Brandon Moonshiners were just lucky that the Moonshiners couldn't get the opportunity off. And now they have an opportunity the other way. Buckles trying to fire the shot. Chewy makes sure he keeps it back. And now comes Curtin, open opportunity. He'll skate. He's got McCants. Big opportunity here. We're going to pass it back around and it's intercepted. Great defensive effort by the Moonshiners. They had at least the one defender who was smart to get back in the right position. Otherwise, that could have been a nice, beautiful pass from McCants. And a tic-tac-toe set up over to Frank Curtin and he would have had Rosengall beat. New Becker. Off to Paganella. Finds danger. And stripped loose by Angelo Pontello. And of course, don't we love all that about Angelo Pontello every time he comes in the way and he tackles the man off the puck. You just can't imagine what will happen. And of course, Ryan Danger trying to take the shot in and he finally does. And that's what, we, and that's what I've been talking about by Ryan Danger, you know. In terms of the uh, over 40, over 50 area, he's not quite... Um, there at the over 50 level but at the same time with over 35 you know he's not even in one of the best players in over 35 but you should you see a play like that and you have to just 
you have to tip your hat off to that league. You know, there's a lot of talent in that there, and Ryan Danger, of course. You know, he he is essentially up there, but you know, getting back to the play, you know, great opportunity, and here comes again. Ryan Danger will skate himself, looking for two goals now, and his shot goes left. Tampa Bay up. 4-3 over Brandon Danger looking for the tying goal. Chewy knocks it away and this one's now back over to McCants taken by Frank Curtin. Gets through Paganella and Newbecker. Looking to make a move around Morello. He does only the keeper to beat fires the shot. Rosengarten is defending the puck well. Thomas looking to set up to Brewster and it gets back over to Morello. This pass off the balls, this is to Dominici. Looks to set up. We're gonna make a move around Paganella Fairs and here comes Steve Paganella. Trying to skate through a couple of Tampa Bay players but he fails to do so. Murillo, now to Phil Field. Liebler gets his pass off the balls now to Becker. Sets up to Brewster. And he coughs the puck up over to Quicko. And they'll regroup. Right now you see both teams more saw so a lax effort. Neither team ever since uh, Ryan Danger came through to uh, make that goal happen. Everything's been stagnant here. Tampa Bay Moonshiners really no push to try to score. Brandon Moonshiners no push to score. Rosengard lets this one go out to Murillo. Taking an intercepted by Sharina. Gets it back over to Phil Field for Brandon. And now we intercepted by Brewster. Over to Becker. Passing it around to Sharina. And now stripped loose the other way. Brandon with an opportunity. Skates back the other way to Sharina. Big opportunity for Brandon to score the fire the shot. Chewy trying to knock it away. And he'll follow on it for the save. This is exactly where you know Tampa Bay needs to practice you know coming together a little bit and getting something happen versus just laxing off every time because that's going to kill them in, during the tournament Thomas pass over to the Meza and Rosengard sucks it in for the save another shot scheme opportunity denied by Brandon's Mark Rosengard Hurley, this one out to Buckholt. To Paul Min. Flipped around the other way, this could be to the Meza. Now back to Sharina. Thomas, he's got Ricci. No, Thomas is gonna look to take the shot himself and Rosengard takes it away. Puck now to Paul Min. From Hurley. We'll get this one around from Buckholtz. Sharina. Gameza. Thomas. It's another move through two defenders. Great move by Jim Thomas. And of course, Jim Thomas, one of the more agile players of over 50 hockey. He can get through two players easily. He's the master of swerving and weaving his way through players just like Angelo Pontello is another one. But of course you have to make sure you're still holding on to the puck and still have an opportunity to beat the keeper after you make a move through two players. This one comes to Pormin working off of Demeza. Now back to Dominici working off of Hurley. Spotticino. Finds Ricci. Sets up a nice pass to Thomas. We'll take it in. Thomas walks around. Shoots it right into Kenny Foreman. It will be uh, taken away by Frank Curtin. This one to Spotticino. Gets it off the boards. And this one's back in Brandon's possession. McCants. Trying to get off the pass to Curtin, but I don't think he was aware of the pass. Yeah, that's going to be the other thing is, even though you got a lot of good players, it's all about the team communication. If there's no team communication, then 
both of these squads might as well be lost. Goal means pass. Taken away by Sharina. From McCants. Back passes it over to Gorman. Pontello. McCants over to Finley. A new backer will hold him up. This one to Gorman. Off the boards. Taken in by Pontello. Big opportunity. Looks to set up over to Curtin. Fired shot. Rosengard knocks it away. 4-3 Tampa Bay lead here. Serena and company looking to extend the lead. But the Tampa Bay Moonshiners struggling to try to uh, bring back their comfortable lead again. Serena shot, man fires, and it's over to Frank Curtin for the finish. And there's your comfortable 5-3 lead. Of course, big shot there. You know, defense, you know, they can do only so much, but then when the Moonshiners overpower them, who knows what can happen? Finley. This one over from Curtin back to McCant. Looking to set up to Curtin again. Fired shot, and Rosengard will hold it in for the save. Tampa Bay five, Brandon three. Here comes New Becker and company. Newbecker's pass over to Danger. Danger looking for a nice pass to Phil Field, but instead goes off his skate. Now to Becker, back to Pontello. And finds a wide open Larry Liebler. Will fire the shot just to the right of Rosengard. This one to Danger. And this one's going to skate all the way back. Gets around Phil Field. This one over to Newbecker. Sharina. Becker. Sits up to Liebler. Big opportunity. Fires through and it's in. Larry Liebler. Smart decision on the finish. And of course Becker there with the assist. Great job by the Moonshiners again. Yeah, and that's where, of course, the teamwork's going to come into play, and I think everything is starting to gel together for them. And now they officially have doubled their score over the Brandon Moonshiners. In other words, it's a 6-3 lead. And I think the, the uh, Tampa Bay team is looking to do more damage. Dominici. This is the Becker. Finds the set up over to Liebler, now back to Brewster, looking to get through two defenders. And Newbecker will knock him off the puck, but then regained quickly by Liebler. Back the other way. Liebler regroups to Becker. Sets up to Liebler. Dominici. Looking for the deflection tap, and of course Brewster couldn't get the quite quite the right angle that he needed to. Pass to Murillo. Off the boards. Taken by Dominici. Finds Liebler. Fires the shot and it's a glove save by Rosengard. And of course, despite uh, the scoreline, Mark Rosengard has just done an excellent job today. You know, he's been keeping this Tier 4 team from uh, getting beat 13-3 to with the way he's been handling some of these saves here. Mark Rosengard, of course, this uh, Brandon Moonshiner team, very fortunate to have him tonight. Pass to the Meza. Thomas supposed to try to take this one in himself and this one gets knocked away now it's back to Quick Hurl off the boards to pull him and now it's Hurley versus Dominici for the puck and Dominici beats him out great speed by beat Dominici never seen him skate that fast before and that actually helped this team this one's a Quick Hurl
the Mesa. Taken away by Buckholz and here come the Brandon Moonshiners. Buckholz look like, looking like he was going to take this one himself and he'll finally get this one off to Hurley. Or so he thought Angelo Pontello now takes it away again. Ricci sets to McCants. Big opportunity. Oh, correction, that was Jim Thomas looking to make the spin move around. Got through two defenders, lost control of the puck. Back over to Pontello on point. He's looking for the shot, he'll fire it. This one, Rosengard kicks it away and Gorman will knock it out. The Mesa. Buckholz. Slips and falls and it looks like the Barbie old ghost got to him. Or we can simply, you know, my version, we just say Tom Buckholz had an Islands of Adventure moment. But either way, Bobby almost have had something to do with that one. Finley will fire the shot, knocked away by Rosengard. Gorman will back pass this one over to Hurley. Gorman working off of Pontello now back to Hurley. Sets up to Buckholz. Back to Pontello. To Finley. Intercepted now by Gorman. Opportunity shot taken and it's saved by Chewy. Pontello will get the quick pass to McCants. McCants fires the shot, knocked away by Rosengard. Now back over to Finley. And Finley's pass, sharply passed backwards to Spottacino, just couldn't get the right angle off. And Spot's pass is going to get off to Curtin. Intercepted by Paganella, looking to make a move around Dominici. And he's got danger. And this puck's going to slide right through Chewy, and it's a 6-4 Brandon Moonshiner's lead. I don't know how that happened. Well, of course, you know, Steve Paganella has been known to uh, make the unthinkable happen, you know. Anything that's the unbelievable, he makes it believable. And of course, for the uh, unbelievable, it's the Brandon Moonshiners cutting the deficit back to two goals again. 6-4 Tampa Bay Moonshiner lead. Brandon finally getting some more touches on the puck. Finley will take the shot himself. Quickly batted down by a defender. This one to Spottacino now McCann. Fires the shot. Pass it back from Spottacino. Dominici to Finley. Shot blocked by Curtin, this one to Dominici again. Finds Finley, fires the shot. Rosengard knocks it away, this one back to Dominici. Another rebound opportunity from Finley. Curtin, back to Finley, will fire the shot himself. Knocked away by Rosengard to McCants. Spottacino, around danger. Spottacino looking to finish to Finley. And Gorman will knock this one away. Now to Curtin, back to Finley. Let's just set up the Curtin, big opportunity, looking to finish to Dominici, trying to tap it in, and they couldn't get the job done again. Another failed tic-tac-toe opportunity for the Tampa Bay Moonshiners. Now it's over to Finley, and he makes the shot, and Tom Finley gets goal number seven for the Tampa Bay Moonshiners. Finally, a tic-tac-toe opportunity that worked for the Moonshiners. You know, it's like I was, what I was about to say before Finley made that goal happen was, um, Again, this is the reason why they are in this friendly matchup right now because they... That's a big opportunity. That's the reason why I, uh, it's a fortunate thing that both of these Moonshiner teams are having the game they are tonight because this is exactly what both teams needed was a tune-up. And for all the opportunities here that the uh, Moonshiners are missing, this is where they need to do it right now. They need to uh, rectify those situations now so that come the tournament time, there won't be any errors that will cost them a championship. Phil Fields. Knocked away by Sharina. But back over to New Becker. Stopped by Sharina. And he'll put this one back in the Brandon end. 7-4. Tampa Bay lead over Brandon. Rosengold knocks it away. 
This one back over to New Becca. Sharina. Intercepted by Be New Becca. Looking for Phil Fields. Got him. Knocked off by New Becca. Here comes Pontello. Gets to the puck. Looks to set up over to Larry Liebler. And this one is in for the Moonshiners. 8-4. And how about the uh, effort by Pontello just controlling the puck over Newbecca and the likes of Phil Field. And of course Pontello's pass, he, he just skated around. Everybody thought he was going to actually take that one himself. But then right at the last moment he finds Larry Liebler. And Liebler, nobody was covering him. And he was able to tap it in over Rosengard. Here comes the Meza, fires the shot, knocked away by Rosengard. And the Moonshiners were looking for a quick two goals. But of course the likes of Ricci and the Meza are denied by Mark Rosengard. But uh, just quickly back over to the Angelo Pontello, Larry Liebler play. This is exactly what the Moonshiners need. They need more players just like Pontello in terms of, you know, that they can hold, that he can hold and control the puck and everyone thinks that a player like him is going to score. But then right at the last minute, he flips it off to another player who's completely fusioned. Nobody covers him and they score on you anyways. And of course, and I think right now, the player that would come close to Pontello's caliber would be Jim Thomas. Because of course, Thomas, he has the uh, shot and the agility factor. And of course, um, that agility factor and him trying to set up the plays is another reason why it's good to have Jim Thomas and Angelo Pontello on the same team. And meanwhile, another moonshine opportunity denied by Rosengard, even though he was all spread out. An easy opportunity to uh, score on him, but of course the Moonshiners couldn't get the uh, right height of the puck. And now comes Thomas the other way and he's got Ricci. Thomas fires the shot, knocked away by Rosengold. Quick curl. Intercepted by Hurley. Finds Pullman. Pullman looking for the setup from Hurley. This one back to Dominici. Ricci to the Meza. Trying to control the puck, looking to outskate. He's all flipped this one. Trying to skate over the Jim Thomas. Big opportunity. Takes the shot. This is Rosengard. Oh, that was an opportunity as the Tampa Bay Moon showing a team you needed to capitalize on. That should have been a 9-4 lead. But now they are back in position, looking to rebound. Spotticino. This is the Finley. Trying to set up to Dominici, knocked away off the puck by Buckholtz. Now it's off to Gorman. Gorman moves up the puck and this one's now going to come back around to Pullman. Takes the shot, easy save by Chewy. Finds McCants. And skating through two defenders and throwing Curtin, only the keeper to beat. And knocked away by Rosengard, bouncing around, and McCants trips over Rosengard. And of course, in the uh, actual tournament play, that would have been a huge penalty there. Curtin regroups. Back to Pontello, looking for his shot. He'll pass it up to Finley. Finley passes it back to Spottaccino, now back to Pontello on point. Sets up over to Curtin. Looks to spin around the other way now to Finley looking to get his shot off. He'll pass it back to Pontello. Still finding a shot. Looking to skate the other way. Looking to set up having screen opportunities now from McCants back to Finley. Firing the shot. Taken away by the Moonshiners. Pontello trying to keep it alive for Tampa Bay. And now back over to Danger. He'll have the puck himself. Strip loose by Thomas. Oh, correction, that was Frank Curtin. Great denial there, you know, Frank Curtin had Ryan Danger in just about every aspect there. Danger was looking to try to move the puck up, but it looked like he completely forgot to defend the puck off of Curtin. And Curtin will now move this one up himself. Another opportunity against Rosengard. Pass it back over to Finley, firing the shot. Knocked into a defender. Back over to Finley. To McCants. Will take the shot himself. Defender knocks it, the puck away. And right now, Brandon doing a real good job being in the right place at the right time. Holding off the Moonshiners from uh, scoring more goals. Hey. 
from Dominici just past McCants and they'll regroup. New Becker looking for a wide open Steve Paganella and he's got him. Strip loose by Sharina now back over to Dominici. Finds Becker and he's got Liebler. Big opportunity back over to Becker. Becker will skate back. Looks to get the pass off to uh, Liebler and he's got him. Liebler looking for options off the boards, looking for Dominici. Taken away by the Brandon Moonshiners. Stopped by Liebler. And Phil Field gets a stick in there and he knocks it back even further into the Tampa Bay end. Right now you have to love the likes of Phil Field, you know. He's trying his real hardest out there, especially on a tier four competition and for him to at least knock it back in the moon China end is really good. Shot taken and it bounced off a of Rosen guard and it's gonna slide right into the net. Nine for Moonshiners after Mike Brewster tried tapping it into Rosengard's back and it backfires on Rosengard. New Becker misfires. He'll keep the puck himself. Shot fired. This one's going to come back around to Becker. And Becker slips and falls. Bobby Orr for the second time has tripped up a player here in this friendly exhibition matchup. Denied and knocked away by Liebler. Here comes Dominici, moves it off. From Becker. Back over to Liebler. To Curtin. No, that's Liebler. From Brewster correction, and now it's Phil Field who will knock this one all the way back in the Moonshiner zone. Spotticino. This one now back around to Thomas. To the Meza. Back around to Curtin. Fires the shot, this one goes in. No, that was Jim Thomas again. You know, all those 20s are really killing me. Yeah, that's gonna be something you're gonna have to get used to too. 10 to 4 is the uh, Tampa Bay lead over the Moonshiners. The Brandon Moonshiners, that is. From Sharina to Thomas, now over to Demeza. Works around Gorman. Big opportunity here. Passes it back to Thomas, now looking for a tic tac toe with Ricci. And it is saved by Rosengorn. I'm telling you, you know, despite the 10 goals given up by Rosengard so far tonight, he has been playing lights out keeping for this team. And as for this Brendan Moonshiner squad, again, what's killing them now, oh, Clyde, is they're not getting a lot of uh, touches on the puck, and that's what's uh, basically ruining the opportunity to try to work something against this uh, Tampa Bay team. Yeah, Tampa Bay's defense has always been pressuring and they've consistently put the pressure on this Brandon team and right now they are suffocating. Pontello in the deep slot. Murillo, I don't know what exactly he tried to do that time, but that probably looked like an illegal move. This one to Ricci. From Sharina, this is the Meza. Will fire the shot deflected off of Morello. Looking to set up to Thomas. And Jim Thomas looking to try to knock down Rosengard, but of course it backfires as Rosengard uh, was able to trip up Jim Thomas. Sharina's passed this one to Thomas again. An opportunity now. Gorman flips this one out to Hurley. Early triple covered by Tampa Bay players and now taken back around by Curtin. Working off of Gorman. Big opportunity for Curtin. Passes it back over to Finley now from Curtin. And this is Rosengard who makes the save. Right 
right now, if anything, Rosengard is getting quite more of the workout than uh, Phil McClung tonight, who has just been sitting by his net, you know, only giving up four or goals, but at the same time, not a lot of opportunity to make a lot of saves. So clearly right now, in terms of the goaltending, Rosengard is getting almost every possible uh, matchup he can versus a breakaway opportunity with uh, two men on O, three men on O. And right now he's been doing an excellent job in defending these mean shiners. Dominici looking to set up to McCann, shoots it right into Quicko. Back to Finley, fires the shot, bounces off a of Rosengard. Third opportunity. Now off to Spotticino. From Dominici. Fires around over to Curtin, sets up to McCann, fires the shot, and it's Rosengard who comes up with a save. Puck now off to Quicko. Off the boards finds Hurley. Makes a move around Dominici. Looks to set up to Chewy back around the other way. Buckholtz looking to set up around. And this one's going to be knocked around and taken away. Here comes Frank Curtin. Looking with McCants, looks to set up, nice pass over to McCants, they're looking for Finley for the tic-tac-toe finish, they just could not get it done. And now it comes back the other way, the Brandon Moonshiner's opportunity with Kenny Coleman. Sets up around the Paganella, just couldn't finish, trying to slide the puck. Now over to Spotticino, and he'll move this up, three Tampa Bay players. Spotticino's gonna look like he might take this one himself. We're gonna get the pass up to McCants. This one's gonna head back the other way. And Spotticino will pick up his own puck. Makes one move around to Brandon players. And now it's off to Liebler. Gets the pass to Becker. Looks to set up to Spotticino. And they lost control of the puck and it gets the right back to Rosengard who falls on it for the save. Finds Paganella. Strip loose. Now back to Sharina. Finds Becker. Nice shot pass. And this one's back over to Liebler. And Newbecker holds up Liebler just in time. Great defensive effort there by Newbecker. He held up Liebler just enough time for Rosengard to get to the sliding puck. This one off the balls, this one back to Becker. Intercepts it, now it's off to Liebler. And he's got Pontello. Back over to Liebler again. Looks to set back around, knocked away. Nice pass, just a little bit off of Ryan Danger's balance there. And now it's off to Paganella, fires the shot. Chewy trying to knock it away, he does. Of course, Paganella's firing shot just caught Chewy off guard. Completely by surprise. Intercepted by Newbecker. Puck now to Becker. Finds a wide open Larry Liebler. Looking for some more options. This one back over to Becker. And this one just knocked away. Now back around the other way. The Brandon Moonshiner's on the move. Liebler finds Becker, fires the shot just right of the net. Ricci. But fired the other way. This one off to Becker. Firing shot. Meanwhile, for um, 
some of the players from uh, the tier 4 team, you know, Steve Paganella and Jeff Quick are checking off the ice. We are the team who played the Harvard Globetrotters all the time. And there's some, some words, some exiting words for Jeff Quicko as the Brandon Moonshiners finally get a goal on the board and they will make it 10-5 but meanwhile for some more of the players here you know they look like they've had enough of their fill it looks like Chris Murillo and Kenny Foreman are having enough time to uh, get off the ice they've said they're satisfied enough with all the practice they've had and it looks like that's going to be the end of the uh, time screws it looks like there was only about an hour and that's going to do it so uh, any final thoughts Clive on uh, this uh, scrimmage matchup of course you know this was quite what we expected you know the uh, the Tampa Bay Moonshiners team, no doubt about it, scored twice as many goals than the uh, Tier 4 Moonshiner team, but that is to be expected. Um, I think for both teams, you know, again, I think um, if everything went well, I think they've um, accomplished a lot. You know, they've gotten their skills down, their, their scoring pat down correctly. You know, they made it happen. You know, give credit to both of these squads, you know, especially the Tampa Bay Moonshiners that pretty much practice more puck controlling and getting very aggressive to try to regain control of the puck. That's where it matters the most. But um, for these Brandon Moonshiner teams, you know, one thing that could have been a little bit different is, um, you know, they might have had a little bit more opportunity to control the puck and that's what's been the uh, killer for them. They definitely, I think in my mind, Andy could have scored a lot more if they uh, had more opportunity with the uh, puck possession. Well, of course, here, this has been another production of the Pontello Broadcasting Network, of course. Fun exhibition game here today. Really excited we were able to come down here for it. But again, final score, the Tampa Bay Moonshiners win it here over the Brandon Moonshiners, 10-5. to 5. Again, what a game it's been. And, of course, you know, part of, of the reason that it wasn't a higher scoring, in fact, I think it's because of Mark Rosengard. Yeah, again, Rosengard. Lights out save for most of the part, you know, on the two on-nos, the three on-nos, maybe even some three on-ones. You know, Mark Rosengard was there. He was uh, there at the right place at the right time. Lots of aggressive factors in, and he just got the job done again, you know. My hat's off to Mark Rosengard. He should be a very elite keeper. And we thought for that one, for Andy Townsend. Budweiser sucks. For uh, Claude tells the I'm Andy Townsend. Saying so long, good night, and of course we thank you again for uh, tuning into this special exhibition matchup here. Take care, everyone, and we will see you around sometime.